Hello everyone, Pokeplayer94 here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. Yep, it's Ban Jung Kazooie. So, <sighs> let's go to game two to start this whole thing off. And we're going to watch a little cutscene. Now, of course, as you might have told from the intro, yeah, I'm playing in the one on my, on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade, and I don't care what anyone thinks, okay? To me, it's the exact same game, just with different controls. There's nothing else that's different about it. So don't make a pet peeve about this, alright? And, uh, no, I'm not going to do voice acting for this one. Okay, I'm just going to let you enjoy... Enjoy all the, the weird dialogue going on here. <laughs> Besides, I think Gwenty's Gwen 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 right there was pretty acceptable with her um voice. Anyway, something is up. Apparently, the uh, her boy and pa doesn't think that she's the most beautiful around, and he's talking about. 2D here, you know, who is cuter than than a Gruntilda, apparently. <laughs> the, and, you know what, I don't even see how Gruntilda can even be, be resembling anything near that of beauty. So, there's little Tootie, who... Well, okay, we don't get to see much of it, but... <laughs> oh, and uh, there's Bottles. Those. He'll be the main uh, uh, move giver of, of the game. Basically, he'll teach us all the moves we need to know, you know and all that. So, yeah. And see, there's waiting for her, for her big brother, uh, Banjo, right there to wake up. And of course, he's got a little bird friend. <laughs> yeah, that's what really made it strange. <laughs> How can that even resemble? Her brother. I mean, really? How in the world can Gwentilda right there, 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 um, right there resemble to put the, the? I guess Bowser needs new glasses. <laughs> Oh, that hurt! Oh man, you know, that's just so... Ugh. So, okay, yeah, that bird there is named Kazooie. He, and trust me, you're gonna love her as we go on. Oop! <laughs> Okay, so now we get control of Banjo here. <clears throat> and we walk up to the small hill to meet Bottles, who pretty much explains everything thing that's going on here. <laughs> yeah, you see. There's a reason I really like this game, and I mean really like it, even, even though, you know, you know, some things have been upgraded with the, um, the whole, whole change, so some things have been changed around, and all that. You know, there's a reason I really like this game. I don't get Really. So now he asks us if he wants us to teach all of the basic moves, 
or press B to to just give them all to us. But you know, from new viewers, we're going to accept the whole training thing. Okay, we're going to accept the whole training thing. It won't take us too long to do this whole thing. And in fact, I'm sure I can get it in under 30 minutes. I bet I can even get it in under 20. Okay, let's aim for that. Let's aim for getting it under 20. Okay, let's see what happens. As usual, you move around with the control stick. And with this first one... Okay, now, as he explained, we have to hit B on a molehill. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, in this game, you have to hit X on a molehill. So now he helps explain the camera um, controls, which is basically in this case just the right stick. Whereas with on the N64, you had to use use the C buttons. And of course, there was also there's also to be able to um, um, redirect it to right behind you with just a simple push of the R button. <clears throat> Anyways, let's go this way now, where we'll learn our next technique. This is where we finally learn our first move. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and Kazooie, she's going to be pretty insulted to pretty much anyone throughout the game. But sometimes the characters know how to fight back against her. Who I'm bullying, as it were. <laughs> Anyways, right there is the double. Was what's supposed to be the double jump. I don't get it myself. How's that a double jump exactly? I mean, all you're doing is just staying in the air a little longer. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, right now. Now the mole's just ignoring her. The boss is just ignoring her and everything. Anyways, for this one, you have to basically crouch and then hit A. Now that's a high. Now that's basically a high jump there. And that really comes in handy. Anyways, you need to high jump to grab this. Anyways, let's continue on, shall we? Yeah, those honeycomb pieces uh, does actually help add health to your to your meter, and basically you're gonna need it. Now, next technique we're gonna learn is swimming. Now, I have these controls down pretty dang well, to be honest. The swimming me mechanics can be pretty um, tricky if you're not careful, for you can easily get stuck. In fact, in some cases, you can easily be drown if you're not good at that. Now, in this case, you have to use use X to um, help you along. On and. Uh, Okay, let me concentrate a little here. Okay. Now we're back at the mole here, so let's go this way. Now there's a honeycomb piece out of reach here. And with the two moves we just learned, we can easily get this without worry. Okay, and it's also this! An extra guy! Woohoo! <laughs> now, this game's not actually that hard. Hard to be honest, in my opinion. But the extra guys really do come in handy. The, the full arm. For a lot of beginners. <laughs> now, 
Yeah, and basically, Kazooie really wants to get into flying, but we're not going to learn that yet. Not yet. That's still a couple of... Well, that's still a bit of ways. Anyways, now we have to grab onto a tree, and to do that, we just jump onto it. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, now that we've learned how to climb, we can easily grab the next handgun piece here. Okay, now we're going to go over here. And talk with with Bowser again. Now he's going to give us the beak barge attack, which do, which is actually quite helpful in this game. Hey, there's so many places you're going to be using this, so it's best to have it down. Ouch! Yeah, no one gets along with Kazooie here. No one does. Anyways, after you get all four, you get another honeycomb piece. And now for the final moves. It's gonna give us some enemies now for us to face with these moves. Now, you won't pretty much be using it in the first attack all that much, but he gives you. It's kind of useless. So it's except for for when uh, recovering from an enemy hit, but the second move, yeah, you'll definitely be using that. And the third, oh boy, you don't know how much you'll be using it. Okay, you don't. Okay, so now he gave us that. Now he's gonna give us another one. One for us to beat up to. Now basically, we don't take damage for this. Ah, sorry. It's been a while, to be honest. Yeah, the forward wall. That's what we'll be using a lot now. This does a lot of damage to its enemies. We'll be using it quite a bit. But, and Kazooie there is good, just going to have to the stomach it. Anyways, the wall attack, yeah, definitely comes in handy. Well worth using. And this next move is called the Rat Attack. That's Rap. Where we bas just basically attack in the air. And as you can see, you can even use it as a way to... To um, attack enemies while moving forward. Which, which is actually very useful for in several different places. You're going to have to use that technique. You're going to have to master it. Okay? It was okay. So now, all of the enemies appear, but we don't need to worry about these guys, anyways. All we do is just take them out for these honeycomb energy, which ba which is basically health refills. Yes, this game is rather generous with that, to be honest. That's why I don't feel it to be too hard, to be honest. It's actually a decent challenge in some cases. Anyways, let's just get up to the top now. Yeah. 
And at this rate, I don't know if we'll make the mark. Oh well. <laughs> Yep, we're ready to do tag right now. Yeah, and that's the whole reason why we couldn't go across at first. First, the bridge was broken, so he needed time to actually fix that. And he'll also be inside to teach us more moves. Yeah, we've got a lot more moves to learn. Anyways, we're going to end this with a couple cutscenes. So, yeah. Now, two of you kind of trapped there, behind some energy bars. And, he, and she plans to use this contraption to actually to make her beautiful again. But the thing is, it takes time to work, okay? It'll be a while before this thing can actually be at full power for to be used. So yeah, it doesn't actually use it right away, and that's my theory as to why actually why it's not just that it takes time to use fun begins my tricks and traps will see her wins anyways for the beginning we'll grab this little beauty So now we got this little thing, and, and we're going to get to the f to the first puzzle really quick. Okay, now here's Bob's to tell us us that we found the uh, jigsaw picture, and we have to step on the podium there. And he'll explain everything. So yeah, it all involves collecting puzzle pieces. So it's for us to actually get through it all. Through it all. So I need to just insert the first piece, and that will open Mum the first stage, which is Mumbo's Mountain. And of course, Grundy details us just how simple that was. But we're gonna stop. Let's see. Okay, go back real quick, hang on. So we're gonna exit to the game. Hey, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, okay we're just gonna watch this cutscene and that'll be it. This is the game over scene. Which basically happens every time you quit the game. Yes. It automatically counts as a game over when you stop playing the game. Anyways, enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.